Hey guys, I'm uh, Jean Pascal from Jean Pascal Florist and I'm participating in the contest uh, by um, Florist Review, uh, Best in Bloom. So um, to this year the contest was to make an arrangement uh, with uh, four uh, natural elements in mind. So air, fire, uh, what else? Air, fire, earth and water. So uh, I decided to go with some beautiful flowers provided by uh, Ball, which is a supplier based in Miami that provided all these gorgeous blooms. And then out of my attic, I found some uh, wheatgrass that I dried uh, that I thought would add uh, some spice to the arrangement and also some lily grass that I had in my fridge. So uh, we have uh, so our main flowers. We have some Duplurum here, a beautiful green Duplurum. We have some Laxbur, we have some Crespedia, we have some Stuck and some uh, blue delphinium. So obviously blue I chose the color because it contrasts with the yellow but also because it reminds me of the water. Same thing uh, with the vases. The vases are by, um, who are they? By Burton and Burton. So um, great vase, uh, great shape. I, 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 decided to use that one because it's got like a wide opening and because we can see technique inside uh, the vase um, and I love to see the stamps I think it's important that's part of like the designs I like and also it reminds me of basically earth is made out of the sand and the glass if you guys don't know is also made out of sand so uh, that was the idea behind the glass <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and then um, the stuck and the yellow just remind me uh, of the sun. I know it has nothing to do, but it's mostly uh, for adding a little bit of fire into the arrangement. So, what I did first is um, these one were actually live wheatgrass um, that I, I let them dry in a bundle like this. I hand tied these with a uh, regular hand tie technique and then um, I will show you how I apply this in the base to start uh, my arrangement. So that's about it. Okay, so now the second step what I did is that I took all my stems from the weed and I put them in the glass like this um, and then I added some uh, lily grass that creates a lot of movement and interest to the arrangement. So what, how I did that is I basically just um, started inserting my stems and I turned the base and I did that for all of the stems. And see, I'm going into the opposite direction like this and then I turned the, the, I turned the base so it looked if I put it in the opposite direction, oh, sorry, like this, and then I turn my base, and I take my stem like this, and I turn my base to the left, and I put my stem of lily grass to the left. So always in the same direction. My lily grass to the left, there you go, and I turn my base to the left. So like that, all my stems are facing the same direction. So it creates it creates a beautiful movement in the glass. That's why I'm using the glass vase so that we can see the movement. Uh, glass vase, once again, it's by Burton and Burton. And then inside this arrangement right now, there's lily grass and wheat. So I continue and then I also place some at the top like this, always going into the same direction. So I go to, uh, to the, left and then turn the base the tip of my stem goes to my left in the base and i turn so it creates a lot of movement and uh, it's very attractive to the eye and it's a little bit like the air blowing in uh you know the country's uh, side like i i think it's very very pretty it acts like a beautiful it, it looks very interesting so that now the next step will have to be uh, putting flowers in the arrangement to create some volume 
Um, so I'm still missing at least another one third as the rule of three. Uh, first rule is the base, twice the height of the base. So to, for the arrangement to look consistent, it's gonna have to be higher. So that's where I'm gonna integrate the other flowers uh, that are provided by Paul. So here's the result. Um, my approach is very classic. So this is my approach to the four elements. And um, it's uh, beautiful and classic. It's full all the way around. Uh, the Craspedia gives a nice touch of modern, yet the classical vase makes this arrangement very um, uh, very classic. I mean, this is a very posh arrangement. What makes it fun as well is uh, the fact that we used wheat almost as um, as a moss um, to to put our flowers in. So the wheat acted a little bit like a, a floral cage or um, chicken wire. So. Uh, then I just inserted the flowers all the way in the same direction, which is helping me to create that round shape that I really like. And this is, uh, once again, you know, the rule of three. There's, uh, it's three times the height of my base, and then it's three times the, uh, my base also uh, wide. Uh, and it's a perfect display for uh, an entry centerpiece. You can also use that arrangement once the flowers are done, are, are, are dead. The blue flowers are probably gonna die first, uh, then uh, the delphinium, then the laxpur, then the bupleurum, and the stucks. I would suggest, uh, once that arrangement done to your client, that they can keep the craspedia and the wheat and the grass, and it's gonna create a beautiful arrangement for at least a month or two. Um, so it's got a lot of uh, different um, uh, good aspect for your client to receive that. It's an arrangement that will last a long time. So um, that's about it. I hope you guys like it.